Government and Politics Jacinda Ardern, Prime Minister of New Zealand New Zealand is a constitutional monarchy with a parliamentary democracy, although its constitution is not codified. Elizabeth II is the Queen of New Zealand and thus the head of state. The Queen is represented by the Governor General, whom she appoints on the advice of the Prime Minister. The Governor General can exercise the Crown's prerogative powers, such as reviewing cases of injustice and making appointments of ministers, ambassadors, and other key public officials, and in rare situations, the reserve powers, for example, the power to dissolve Parliament or refuse the royal assent of a bill into law. The powers of the monarch and the governor-general are limited by constitutional constraints, and they cannot normally be exercised without the advice of ministers. The New Zealand Parliament holds legislative power and consists of the Queen and the House of Representatives. It also included an upper house, the Legislative Council, until this was abolished in 1950. The supremacy of Parliament over the Crown and other government institutions was established in England by the Bill of Rights 1689 and has been ratified as law in New Zealand. The House of Representatives is democratically elected and a government is formed from the party or coalition with a majority of seats. If no majority is formed, a minority government can be formed if support from other parties during confidence and supply votes is assured. The Governor-General appoints ministers under advice from the Prime Minister, who is by convention the parliamentary leader of a governing party or coalition. Cabinet, formed by ministers and led by the Prime Minister, is the highest policy-making body in government and responsible for deciding significant government actions. Members of cabinet make major decisions collectively and are therefore collectively responsible for the consequences of these decisions. A parliamentary general election must be called no later than three years after the previous election. Almost all general elections between 1853 and 1993 were held under the first past the post voting system. Since the 1996 election, a form of proportional representation, called Mixed Member Proportional, MMP, has been used. Under the MMP system, each person has two votes, one is for a candidate standing in the voters' electorate, and the other is for a party. Based on the 2018 census data, there are 72 electorates, which include seven Maori electorates, in which only Maori can optionally vote, and the remaining 48 of the 120 seats are assigned so that representation in Parliament reflects the party vote, with a threshold that a party must win at least one electorate or 5% of the total party vote before it is eligible for a seat. Elections since the 1930s have been dominated by two political parties, National and Labour. Between March 2005 and August 2006, New Zealand became the first country in the world in which all the highest offices in the land head of state, Governor General, Prime Minister, Speaker, and Chief Justice were occupied simultaneously by women. The current Prime Minister is Jacinda Ardern, who has been in office since 26 October 2017. She is the country's third female Prime Minister. New Zealand's judiciary, headed by the Chief Justice, includes the Supreme Court, Court of Appeal, the High Court, and subordinate courts. Judges and judicial officers are appointed non-politically and under strict rules regarding tenure to help maintain judicial independence. This theoretically allows the judiciary to interpret the law based solely on the legislation enacted by Parliament without other influences on their decisions. New Zealand is identified as one of the world's most stable and well-governed states.
As of 2017, the country was ranked fourth in the strength of its democratic institutions and first in government transparency and lack of corruption. A 2017 Human Rights Report by the U.S. Department of State noted that the New Zealand government generally respected the rights of individuals, but voiced concerns regarding the social status of the Maori population. New Zealand ranks highly for civic participation in the political process, with 80% voter turnout during recent elections, compared to an OECD average of 68%. International rankings of New Zealand foreign relations and military early colonial New Zealand allowed the British government to determine external trade and be responsible for foreign policy. The 1923 and 1926 Imperial Conferences decided that New Zealand should be allowed to negotiate its own political treaties, and the first commercial treaty was ratified in 1928 with Japan. On 3 September 1939, New Zealand allied itself with Britain and declared war on Germany with Prime Minister Michael Joseph Savage proclaiming, Where she goes, we go, where she stands, we stand. In 1951 the United Kingdom became increasingly focused on its European interests while New Zealand joined Australia and the United States in the ANZUS Security Treaty. The influence of the United States on New Zealand weakened following protests over the Vietnam War. The refusal of the United States to admonish France after the sinking of the Rainbow Warrior, disagreements over environmental and agricultural trade issues, and New Zealand's nuclear-free policy. Despite the United States' suspension of ANZUS obligations, the treaty remained in effect between New Zealand and Australia, whose foreign policy has followed a similar historical trend. Closed political contact is maintained between the two countries with free trade agreements and travel arrangements that allow citizens to visit, live and work in both countries without restrictions. In 2013 there were about 650,000 New Zealand citizens living in Australia, which is equivalent to 15% of the population of New Zealand. New Zealand has a strong presence among the Pacific Island countries. A large proportion of New Zealand's aid goes to these countries, and many Pacific people migrate to New Zealand for employment. Permanent migration is regulated under the 1970 Salmon Quota Scheme and the 2002 Pacific Access Category, which allow up to 1,100 Salmon nationals and up to 750 other Pacific Islanders, respectively, to become permanent New Zealand residents each year. A seasonal worker scheme for temporary migration was introduced in 2007 and in 2009 about 8,000 Pacific Islanders were employed under it. New Zealand is involved in the Pacific Islands Forum, the Pacific Community, Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation, and the Association of Southeast Asian Nations Regional Forum, including the East Asia Summit. New Zealand has been described as a middle power in the Asia-Pacific region and an emerging power. The country is a member of the United Nations, the Commonwealth of Nations and the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, OECD, and participates in the five power defense arrangements. New Zealand's military services the Defence Force comprise the New Zealand Army, the Royal New Zealand Air Force, and the Royal New Zealand Navy. New Zealand's national defence needs are modest since a direct attack is unlikely. However, its military has had a global presence. The country fought in both world wars, with notable campaigns in Gallipoli, Crete, El Alamine, and Casino. The Gallipoli campaign played an important part in fostering New Zealand's national identity and strengthened the ANZAC tradition it shares with Australia.
In addition to Vietnam and the two world wars, New Zealand fought in the Second Boer War, the Korean War, the Malayan Emergency, the Gulf War, and the Afghanistan War. It has contributed forces to several regional and global peacekeeping missions, such as those in Cyprus, Somalia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, the Sinai, Angola, Cambodia, the Iran-Iraq border, Bougainville, East Timor, and the Solomon Islands. Local government and external territories the early European settlers divided New Zealand into provinces, which had a degree of autonomy. Because of financial pressures and the desire to consolidate railways, education, land sales, and other policies, government was centralized and the provinces were abolished in 1876. The provinces are remembered in regional public holidays and sporting rivalries. Since 1876, various councils have administered local areas under legislation determined by the central government. In 1989, the government reorganized local government into the current two-tier structure of regional councils and territorial authorities, the 249 municipalities that existed in 1975 have now been consolidated into 67 territorial authorities and 11 regional councils. The regional council's role is to regulate the natural environment with particular emphasis on resource management, while territorial authorities are responsible for sewage, water, local roads, building consents, and other local matters. Five of the territorial councils are unitary authorities and also act as regional councils. The territorial authorities consist of 13 city councils, 53 district councils, and the Chatham Islands Council. While officially the Chatham Islands Council is not a unitary authority, it undertakes many functions of a regional council. The realm of New Zealand, one of 15 Commonwealth realms, is the entire area over which the Queen of New Zealand is sovereign and comprises New Zealand, Tokelau, the Ross Dependency, the Cook Islands, and Niue. The Cook Islands and Niue are self-governing states in free association with New Zealand. The New Zealand Parliament 